Alright, today we're going to use the Sketchbook Express app for iPad to record all of the vocabulary we need to talk about the lines that we see in art class. On the left hand side of the screen is an example of excellence from third grader Lamia Pegues. And on the right hand side you'll see the icon for Sketchbook Express. It looks like a white S on a blue square. When we go into that, I'd like you to see all of the icons that we use in the Sketchbook app. Please repeat the name of each one after me on a level two. Gallery. Add new sketch. I for information. Undo arrow. Redo arrow. Brush editor. Draw styles. Free draw. Line tool. Rectangle tool, circle tool, symmetry, text, transform, layers. Today we're going to be using the text tool frequently to type all of these words. I'm going to tap the plus and get a clean screen. Please tap the plus icon and save or don't save. In this case I'm going to save Lamia's work. She's been using my iPad and get a clean screen. When we tap text everyone tap the three dots and the letter A for text now you'll see we get a keyboard at the bottom and the last word that we type appears. The last word I typed was kids. I'm going to start by typing our title drawing lines. So there are two ways we can get rid of the word kids. We can either backspace one letter at a time or we can tap the X right here in the text box and that clears away all of the letters. I'm gonna pick a dark color royal blue and then use the shift arrow everybody say shift arrow to get a capital D to start off my word. You can pick any color you like and you can also try out some different fonts today. Everybody say font. That's my style. When I tap the letter A, I can choose from some different fonts to use. I'll try using a different one for each word today. Let's continue typing the title for our anchor chart. Drawing lines. Again, I'm going to use shift arrow to get a capital L. Whenever we write a title for a book, or in this case an anchor chart, we need to capitalize the first letter of each word. Now we need to move our title up to the top of the page. If we're using free, we can just grab it with two fingers and move it to the top. Notice I don't actually have to touch that word, and when I squeeze it or pinch my fingers together, the letters get smaller. I'm going to make them nice and large so my title fills up the top of the screen. So my title for this anchor chart is Drawing Lines. Once I get it to the top, I'm going to press Done. Once I press Done, that word is stuck there. If you've got your title, let me hear you say, Oh yeah! I'm going to come back in and tap the three dots and text again you'll see I get the last words I type, drawing lines. Again, I can backspace to take those letters away, or even quicker, I can tap this X in the text box and take the whole word away and start typing my next word. Capital, I use shift arrow to get capital, H-O-R-I-Z-O-N-T-A-L, horizontal. I can change my font to something different. I'm going to do that quickly. And then again, if I'm on free, I can just grab my word with two fingers and position it at the top. Once I get it where I want, I'll press done. I'm going to make it pretty small so I don't run out of room. And notice my iPad is in a vertical orientation. It is tall like a building. That way I'll have room to list all of my text and draw all of the lines beside them. I'm done. 
I'll press the three dots and text again. I get my last word. So X it out and type your next word. Shift arrow for capital V. I'm going to change my font. That's my style. Use two fingers. If I'm on free, I can use two fingers to move it wherever I want. And then press done. Tap the three dots and text again. I get the last word I type. I'm going to tap the X to clear the text box and then shift arrow for a capital D. I'm going to tap font. That's my style. Use two fingers to move it next on my list. Once I put it where I want, then I press done. So type, move, done. Everybody say type, move, done. I'll tap the three dots, text again, X to clear it out. Next word, capital, with my shift arrow. Choose a new font. That's my style. Use two fingers to move it where I want. Done. So type, move, done. Select the three dots. Text again. X to clear it out. Next word. Shift arrow for a capital D. Dotted. New font. That's my style. Type, move, done. If I make a mistake or I don't like where I put that word or I press done before I moved it, I can just tap undo arrow and take it away. Undo arrow takes away the last mark I made or the last word I typed. But if, for instance, I change my mind and I do like it, I can tap redo arrow three dots, text, X to clear it out, shift arrow for a capital, zigzag is my next word. Choose a new font, that's my style. Grab it with two fingers, move it where I want, Tap done. I'll continue. Three dots. Text. Exit out. Shift arrow for a capital. Jagged is my next word. New font. Use two fingers to move it where I want. Type. Move. Done. Three dots text, X out the last word, shift arrow for a capital, my next word is wavy, going to select another font, that's my style, use two fingers to move it where I want, done, three dots, text, X to clear out the box, my next word is bumpy, shift arrow for a capital B. Choose a new font, a new style. Use two fingers to move it where I want. Type, move, done. Three dots for text. X to clear out the old word. Shift arrow for a capital. Loopy is my next word. I'm going to choose a new font. That's my style. Use two fingers to move it where I want and press done. Three dots for text. My last word is 
curvy. I'm going to X to clear it out. Capital C. I'm going to choose a new font, a new style. Use two fingers to move. So type, move, done. Those are all of our words. Let's come back in and draw all of the lines that we need. These are our draw styles. Everybody say draw styles. Free draw. Line tool. Rectangle tool. Circle tool. Select your line tool. If you still have more words to type, that's fine. You can come back and do those. I want you to try drawing these lines with me now. Besides horizontal, we're going to draw a line that goes straight from left to right, flat like a table. Anytime you're using the straight line tool, you'll see a dashed line that shows you where your line is going to fall. Once you get it straight from left to right, pull it out and let go. If you don't like your line, you could just tap undo arrow and try it again. But that turned out great, so we're going to leave it where it is. Our next line is vertical, so again we'll use the straight line tool and draw a line that is straight up and down, tall like a building. My line is a little bit crooked, so I'm going to tap undo and try that again and try to get my line more straight this time. That looks great. That's a vertical line. Our diagonal line goes from high to low like a sliding board. So start up high and pull it down low. Again, that dashed line shows you where it's going to go and let go. Let's try a rectangle tool and make dashes using our rectangle tool. Oh, those dashes look awesome. Let's go back and switch to our circle tool again and pull out small circles for our dotted line. Let's change to our line tool to make our zigzag line with diagonals that go up and down, up and down. Now for our other lines, we're going to have to switch over to free draw. That lets us create any kind of organic line we need. And the jagged line is very organic. It's similar to a zigzag in that it goes up and down, but it's much more irregular. Our wavy line is made of curves that curve up and down and back up again. Our bumpy line makes curves that bump to a point. The loopy line is very organic. You never know where it's going to go. There are lots of loops, kind of like in cursive handwriting. And finally, our curvy line or curved line as one large curve like a rainbow. I'm actually